If we were not using AWS, we would have had to purchase quite a bit of hardware. My name is Howard Salas. I'm an assistant professor at Penn State University in the biological engineering and chemical engineering departments. If you buy 20 servers, uh, and if you then have to buy another 20 af after that and keep buying another 20 after that as the service scales, the costs add up. Uh, and not only the costs, uh, the monetary costs, but also the time cost of having to uh, take time out of my day, which is spent uh, not just on writing code, uh, but more often on advising my graduate students and writing papers. And uh, I would have to spend that time on other things that are not directly central to my, my mission. It's certainly more flexible to be able to turn on and off uh, compute nodes as I need them uh, in order to provide uh, our research to the biotech community. My research lab develops new design methods for engineering biological organisms. We develop biophysical models that make very specific predictions about how one should engineer an organism in order for it to manufacture chemical products and solve biotech problems. We want to maximize the accessibility of our research uh, output. And so what we've done is that all the different biophysical models and all the different design methods that we've developed, we've taken those and we've put them on the web. And in response, uh, over you know, 6,000 uh, biotech researchers have used our design methods and optimization algorithms to rationally engineer their own microorganisms for all sorts of applications. So the, the benefit of using something like AWS Cloud Computing as a platform is to allow everyone to use the service at the same time and to never force them to wait in line. Now, there's issues that come into play when that program becomes too popular. And so we want to have the flexibility to build whatever sort of algorithms and programs that could be helpful to many people. And if they do prove to be extremely popular, as our DNA compiler has become, then we want to have the flexibility to add more compute nodes as the need arises. This flexibility gives us the advantage of being able to have complete freedom to design and implement any sort of algorithm that we wish to design without being constrained by the computational resources. So we have uh, developed some very nice infrastructure for being able to translate our research into the cloud to make it accessible to everyone. And we intend to continuously uh, translate you know, that technology to everyone. Um, and it, it doesn't require a whole lot of additional effort on my part to add another one of our design methods or one, another one of our optimization algorithms uh, into our web interface. It's actually fairly straightforward uh, for us to now take our research and to create a web interface uh, that encapsulates all the inputs and outputs and then to allow everyone to use it.